globalization. Well-reputed Indian companies uh, are uh, coming out uh, to uh, a destination like Egypt, uh, assessing the uh, possibilities here favorably. Uh, I think this says a lot. It says a lot about our companies. It says a lot about your credibility uh, as a as a uh, investment destination. So I really see uh, today a world of possibilities uh, out here. I would. Uh, suggest to all of you ladies and gentlemen that look at the world in terms of you know it's very intense globalization a globalization that carries huge opportunities but also has inherent risks which must be addressed by like-minded countries comfortable countries getting together and doing more uh, with each other uh, and uh, looking to see where we have uh, capacities that complement uh, each other uh, and uh, the responsibility of the governments obviously is to be supportive uh, is to create uh, wherever possible the the uh, facilitative uh, mechanisms you know we are seeing floods on a scale heat waves on a scale we saw wind you know cold on a scale which we have not experienced before and which means that you know the idea that climate events pose a danger is not good advice that we give to our grandchildren anymore it is something which is happening in fact it has happened and the urgency and i say this particularly because egypt has the responsibility uh, of the cop 27 i would say cop i was i've been i was there at cop 26 i was there at cop 21 in paris i would say the urgency with which climate uh, emergencies and events will be looked at is growing with each COP. And if you have to find sustainable solutions, the sustainable solutions are not going to come only out of conferences. Policies will come out of conferences. Ultimately, policies will have to be translated into business if they are to be sustainable. This morning, as I said, I had the honor to call on the president. Uh, I just heard our two colleagues who spoke uh, referring to a trade turnover of uh, 7.2 billion dollars president cc told me he doesn't think it's enough so he urged us saying find ways of of increasing it and uh, i know that is the thinking of my prime minister as well uh, now uh, one uh, obvious way of doing so uh, is to really focus on the impediments that we may have uh, uh, to expanding business. See what are the market access issues that we both face. Uh, look at the possibilities of investments which could either go, you know, which, which has a production implication for third countries and other regions or even buyback possibilities. Uh, as an example, uh, and I again uh, reflect my uh, conversations today and tomorrow, uh, today and yesterday with the government. Uh, you know, this year is the first year after a gap, or perhaps the first year ever, that Egypt has bought wheat from India. Unfortunately for us, it also turned out to be a difficult year weather-wise uh, for, uh, for uh, uh, agriculture, and therefore, uh, while there were some uh, fairly substantial initial supplies it was not something we could continue but there is a lesson in it because there is a lesson that for Egypt sourcing from India is de-risking a food supply which was otherwise very very dependent on very narrow